What's up guys? My name is Olivia, also known as Jetlag Live, and welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm getting jazzed up. We've got the coffee going, we've got the jams going. We are gonna accomplish some things today, okay? If you're new here, hi. My name is Olivia and I'm currently converting this Ford E150 into a tiny home on wheels. Nomad style. Fan life. Digital nomad style. Um, but like I said, we've got some projects to do today. And the biggest one that I want to get done is turning this little corner that you can see, I'll bring you in in a little bit, into a badass kind of minimalistic storage unit or shelf unit. Um, and I'm gonna do just that by using, one sec. These. I'm gonna be using these Ikea storage crates. Um, you assemble them yourself. And basically 10 bucks gets you a crate. Like I said, you kinda, it, the screws are all included in everything. Um, a little tricky to do them, definitely monotonous once you have to build four of them. Um, but I think we could build the storage unit in under 50 bucks. Now, we're already at 40, <laughs> so that's really no room for errors here. Um, but I think that we could use these, and guys, I honestly believe that if this turns out how I hope, and I'll show you guys the game plan, this, you could use this in your house too. If you have a small space that you wanna do like a mini storage unit, that absolutely could work. Um, so, let me bring you in. Yes, I'm out of breath from bringing all of these over here. They're not even that heavy, I'm just bored. Let me show you the game plan, give you a little rough draft of what I'm thinking, and we'll get into it. Let's go. Please excuse this brief interruption as we celebrate something gigantic. You guys, we hit one thousand subscribers on this channel I am over the moon I cannot believe that I finally hit this milestone that I've been working towards for the past two years um, it feels incredible it feels very rewarding um, but it also is the start of a new chapter where we have more people in this family um, here on this little corner of the internet and we just have a, a bigger thousand fold force and I don't even know if that makes sense. I'm, yeah, I'm over the moon excited. I cried already. If you're not following me on IG, um, I put it on my story. I was crying. Really, really happy tears. Um, so thank you for being here. If you want to subscribe and join in on our thousand strong family, oh my God, we would love to have you here. Um, but yeah, let's get back to the video. <laughs> I'm gonna actually put two of the crates on the edges. Um, and two on the outsides. I've got our electrical, um, our electrical setup is right here. So we're going to kind of have an empty middle space where I'm thinking maybe we'll put like a vanity or like a mirror that's angled so it won't fall, obviously. Um, but this is what the deal is. Yes, there is an issue there, but it'll be covered by the storage um, and then our jack will still be able to fit behind the crate that I'm going to put um, in that little section. So Seth has had this box, this box right here, burnt into his mind. He hates it. He thinks it's so ugly. Um, so he thinks that beadboard would be really good covering it. Seth, if you're watching this, I'm covering this in beadboard just for you, buddy. Let's go do it. Wait, let me do something cool like this. Let's go. <laughs> Did not work. <laughs> Damn it, Seth. You might have been right. It does look pretty good, but you didn't hear it from me. Here we go. Oh, oh my God, and it's sturdy. Oh, and it's so minuscule, it's perfect. Okay, let's go, let's do more. All right. 
Alrighty, folks, we officially have it. I think I might maybe put another one here to kind of push it down. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Um, and then you see these gaps here, they're gonna be filled with white caulking. Um, yay, looks cool. Okay, I had a great idea. So remember how I wanna put a shelf here to keep the Jackery up? Um, I have these extra like spare pieces of planks from the ceiling that I cut. Um, and I'm going to put this right here. So I'm going to screw in this runner to kind of help support them across, like here in here and here. And then, oh my God, I am the smartest man alive. This is going to be awesome. <laughs> Symboling this shindig. Alrighty people, it is day two working on this storage unit. Um, I didn't get to shelf them yesterday or do the caulking to seal the box at the bottom, make it look more finished um, and definitely higher scale. So we're gonna do that today. And I might even do like a mock setup because I was thinking about it and I think I wanna put baskets in them, like on the shelves to keep everything together and then keep it from like flying out. Although I maybe will have to bungee cord across, but before we get into that, I've got to do the caulking at the bottom. Never done it before. Let's make sure. Seth just got here and I showed him um, the setup. He's super impressed, super happy. I went with this stupid beadboard idea. Um, <laughs> it does look really good. Um, so now what I'm doing is I am measuring these spare cedar planks and I'm gonna trim them so that they will be able to slide in. And I'm also gonna have to cut here. And then I think we're gonna stick with the screws into the side as kind of a holder. But first I gotta secure these after I make the cuts. So yeah, let's get into that. All righty, we built this. I've got a runner securing it, so that could be a potential safety hazard, but we'll worry about that in the future. Um, I've got four screws to act as my, like, what would you call it? Just the holder? Holder? Yeah. Let's give her a test. Yay! And no rocking. That means I got it even. Weight test. Yay! We did it. It looks good. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Nice things only, please. I worked very hard. All right, you guys, we finished the shelves for right now. Um, we still have to do covers on them, but I went ahead and styled them so you can see what it would look like if we went with an open concept kind of thing. Um, I am in love with them, but I'm gonna show you guys and tell me what you think down below. All right, we've got the Jackery here with the hole saw in the back for our power unit. Um, obviously, we've still yet to finish that wall, but we're building around this. Um, we've got this one that's just a tall one for storage, maybe water bottles, plates, cups like that. Um, we put in this cute little mirror that was 10 bucks. 
um, from Target, which I thought was so cute. Um, I think I might be able to put my laptop here and edit while we're on the road. Gotta edit those Florida Beach Tour episodes. Up top, I'm thinking maybe toiletry storage and then a dry foods, even though those are, that's fresh produce. Um, but it might be a mixture of food essentials and staples. And then this one, Seth, would you please demonstrate? We made this one so that it could easily be grabbed from a day at the beach. So when you open the back doors, you can pull out your towel and go swimming. <laughs> I am obsessed. People, we did it. Um, we finished our little storage unit. Like I said, maybe we'll put, well, we're gonna have to have something securing what's inside. But I was thinking we would put um, like, bags like this but m more of like a firm bin um, that we would set in there and then they wouldn't fall out or fly out but we're gonna put some sort of stopper on the door and guys we've got storage unit so this will be really important for like our food sunscreen um, our med kit like stuff like that necessities when you're on like a, a trip maybe even our like little camper stove if we get one of those we'll go in there but i'm so happy um i hope you guys really enjoyed this as always if you want to follow along on instagram i post little mini reels which are basically long youtube videos chopped up um but i always love doing the youtube videos because they're more in depth you know what i mean so you kind of get the inside scoop on here. So thank you for being here. Um, and if you want to stay and hang out, make sure you subscribe and join the crew. Like I said, we hit 1,000. So our family is growing. Um, and I love each and every one of you. I'm so thankful that you're here. Uh, that's pretty much it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.